lovely planner people i am today going to have a little look through this gorgeous pen pouch from simply gilded's december box it was the fawned memories box um it's really cute i love the inside more than i love the outside um but i haven't used it yet so i thought why not um make a little video a quick video hopefully of what i'm going to do um with this how i'm going to set it up which pens and equipment are going to make it into the pouch and how it looks afterwards um just to help me get organized and i think it would be great to carry around um not that we go many places at the moment but also i think it would be um just a great alternative to having pen pots and things all over the place because um i have little kids and so scissors and little bits and things like that can't be out on display as much as i'd like so let's have a look at how we set this up now i'm going to show you first of all what's in there you know empty this little charm I think came with that box. I could be wrong though, so I'll, I will, you know, stand corrected if I am. Um, but that is a pin that I've already placed in here and then I decided, oh, I'll do a video. <laughs> so um, that is a pin that I've just placed there. I thought it looks cute. Um, and so there's a pocket here that goes right down to the bottom. I'm not sure how I'll use that, but we'll figure it out by the end of this video. Then as you can see, it's gold hardware, which is my favorite, so I'm not complaining. And when we open it up, it's just so cute. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I feel I feel like a little 10 year old in September. Or do you know what? I say 10 year old, I'm 30, 31 and I'm well up for new stationery in September. But that feeling that you get when you go to, for new stationery and you can fill it up with all your favourites. So I'm going to go um, and show you what's in here and then what I put in here as well. So on the left hand side, we have space enough for, come on now yeah pens to go all the way down so those two pockets go all the way down to the bottom there and you can kind of see that because they're stitched right through and then we have this clear pocket as well with the heart shaped window and that is um has like a plastic sheen so nothing's gonna fall out of there um then we have this really interesting part which i really love and it's pop in um and pop out sections so you can have the option whether you want to keep this little cute pouch in cute little zip pink and again gold hardware and it's this clear transparent thing so you could even just take that out then you have the option to take this sort of pen holder pen presentation situation so this is cool because you can just take whatever you need out and it's great for me with videos especially when if you don't watch my videos regularly um this space that i'm currently planning in i share with my husband and he has it during the week for work and i have it during the weekends for planning so it's great for me to be able to just whip this in and out so that's really great and then it has this gorgeous simply gilded tag which is in most of the pouches and things that um, Irene produces and then it feels like the inside of a makeup bag or like a normal pen pouch pencil case and um, it feels like it would wipe down okay you can kind of hear <laughs> the situation um, it's like that plasticky waterproofy type material so i guess i think you could you know swap these around if you wanted and do it that way but i'm gonna have it the way it was originally so that was this way so i'm gonna pop those back in and then let's start setting this cutie up with what i would put in here so i think i'm going to start with what i've just popped in this for now and I've already got a couple of bits out that I thought would end up in here um, and I'll probably end up digging through a little bit more later. So first things first, I need when I'm planning tweezers and tiny scissors. These are actually nail scissors and they're a bit useless because they're curved. <laughs> I need to get some more, but I am going to Home Bargains tomorrow and I'm hoping to pick some up and hopefully gold because as much as I love rose gold in my planner space, most of my actual planner goodies are gold. So tiny scissors and um tweezers and if you are just starting out in planning these are great to have on board at all times for getting tiny stickers in the right places and for trimming anything that doesn't quite fit your planner so i think that's all i'm gonna put in there for now but we'll see then that's what i'll do is i'll pop that i'll pop that open whilst i fill it so i am going to put on one side of this um highlighters 
and on the other side of this pens and I'm gonna go with my prettiest pens um the my simply gilded ones most likely or the actual pen section so let's have a go at this this is gonna stick like that and I think I want the highlighters behind here because I'm gonna be a little bit fussy and say that this these rose gold scissors are gonna clash with my gold pens so I mean they're already clashing a little bit but this is this is a bit silly isn't it <laughs> Shows you what the inside of your pencil case clash. This is when you know you have a planner problem. Um, so, okay, highlighters are going here then. So, as you can see, this is the very um, organised system that I have for my pens currently up on my desk. So, uh, let's pick the ones that I think we're going to work here. Highlighters wise, so I'll talk you through my favourites. First ones that I love, um, and they're not technically highlighters are they, but they're mild liners. So, I'm going to pop those in, and I, I'm missing, I think, yellow, but never mind. So we have um, blue, where else, this lovely green, and pink. And uh, yes, I'm definitely missing one because I'm sure they come in a pack of four. But I don't tend to use yellow much, so that'll be why it's probably hidden away somewhere. So those three, I'm going to go in there, and then my absolute favourite highlighters has to be... Wilco's and it's a pound for four <laughs> and it's you get um purple pink um okay where have they gone purple pink until they're my most used colors orange and there's like a mint green but for the life of me where has it gone um so it, I, I'm not lying to you I promise there is mint green but it's gone um but like I said these two they're just they are true pastel they work they don't go through paper they don't um they don't run they don't drag um ink across the page so four for one pound and every single time i go to wilco's i buy these um so i've got tons um but yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with them i love them and yeah highly 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 recommend those then i also bought these paper chase erasable highlighters now these are old now but let me see as you can see this is the color i want it to be and this is the color that it is so it's not perfect um but they do look pretty and they have this added bonus that they do they do erase you can kind of see where it was so for my planner it's not often used that much but for general school use um because i am a teacher it does come in handy so that can go here it also looks pretty so here you go and then the last one is this copic sketch now i love the look of these and i love how they they write um i don't love how much they go through paper but it's because i think they're water-based aren't they and i just didn't know that because i was just a novice and bought it because it looked nice so i'm going to squeeze that into the end there and then there is our highlighter situation which i really like am i gonna yeah, you can't get rid of the mild liner. We've got to show the branding, which is fine. So there we go. I think that looks cute. There's my highlighters. And then let's pop it back in to here. Come on. All right. Now on the back, in this back pouch here, I'm actually going to use, I'm going to pop my big scissors. These are scary. Oh, I'm shaking the desk. These scare me. They scare me to be out. They scare me around my children. So <laughs> they're getting hidden in the back of here. As is this gorgeous little Bambolina notebook. So if I need to take any notes, that is available here at the back. So I'm going to leave that in there as well. And then finally, pop in some pens here. So I'm going to take out my gold lovelies first. Am I going to use that full gold? Let's see. Uh, gold, yeah, you're coming out, you're coming out. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I love this even though, oh no, it's not that one. Where's my car here? Even though that's not gold. Let's see how we get on. Okay, I've got another Simply Gilded coming this month. So the uh, February box has a gorgeous gold and pink pen. So we will swap that, that one out for that in time so gorgeous 
teal one and then we'll go flowery flowery beauty push those up a little bit because i've got plans for down here um and then we will go oh actually let's do like a little green progression here white this candy cane type one so sweet um this one which is currently my favorite and then we will go full gold and then we will stick this little rose gold individual at the end so cute and i had actually had an idea to use one of these clips i don't think i'm gonna put washi tape in here because that's too many anyway but i think i'm gonna put this there go on under there that looks cute doesn't it i like the way that little clip clippy looks okay that's a chunky girl i hope that she shuts let's go have to see <laughs> i feel like maybe she won't but it's a work in progress we'll see um and then i have some bits for over here that i picked out i found this in a drawer i think i'm gonna stick that on here because it's so cute and then i found this which i bought years ago and never put on anything so i thought this could be cute down there for now i'll probably find something else to put in there this gorgeous little crochet rainbow from lynn Larbos is going in here because she's the cutest and i love it and then my little coffee cup Wait, down there this is so cute okay i'm obsessed with this i'm gonna be like let me just get a pen every time i go somewhere <laughs> which is never <laughs> but, when, but when i do you gotta bet i'm gonna bring this with me okay let's just do the test will it close oh wait do i want to put my little cat ruler in have i got a ruler in here no i haven't got a ruler so cat ruler is going in there too all right here we go so we've got a ruler we've got scissors tweezers highlighters pens scissors i think we're good i think we are well catered for come on now do me proud oh is anyone else not breathing whilst i do this <laughs> it's like me when i'm trying to put lockdown jeans on okay it's not the most attractive shape right now but neither am i so it we, with little twins i love this this is gorgeous okay so that is how i've done my pouch I've, I've decided i'm really happy with that um the only thing i might put in here is some like mini staplers uh, staples but i'm not going to be traveling with a stapler probably so it's not the most necessary situation and then in here i suppose i can put any kind of die cuts or slips of paper or notes that i might want um but yeah for now i don't want to bulk it up anymore so yeah let's have this final look get to my meeting everyone's jealous <laughs> because look at this okay i'm obsessed there's the dog hair in there that's great isn't it okay so cute so ruler bits that are cute and pretty and not necessary scissors tweezers highlighters a little clip in case i need one but mostly there for pretties lots of pens we're not going to run out no one's borrowing these pens don't love anyone that much um oh that highlighter's kind of gone now maybe i'm i mean you can see it if you look for it but that's dried all right well done paper chase and then the big girl scissors at the back so i love that i hope you've enjoyed that i hope it's given you some ideas as to how you to use your pen pouch even if you have not got this one I think that is a pretty well stocked um, pencil case and if you need uh, if you have any ideas of what else might need to go in here let me know have I missed something glaringly obvious <gasps> maybe wait can I put another pin I want to put another pin sunshine and kindness that's a cute one let's get some contenders out and then I'll finish the video I promise uh, that cute simply gilded bunny I think it's simply gilded. Good vibes. I don't use these pins as much as I should because I don't like punching holes in things. Okay, those are probably some. Oh, I love this one. Right, okay. I'm going to try and just pop them in different places. 
this is the go come on now this one is the gorgeous oh my gosh this video is 15 minutes long what is wrong with me gorgeous pin from catnip studios then we have this cute little bunny and then we have sunshine and kindness this one was from wilco's and then the last one good vibes okay i'm gonna find places for these and then i'm done so do i want sunshine and kindness to go up there what do i want where do i want things i think i want good vibes over here yeah. oh gosh a life flash before my eyes then i'm such a wuss when it comes to like um, needles i'm fine with but like st little studies with pins and things stressing me out good vibes love that there this little guy needs to be in here he's so she's so so cute i'm gonna i might put her on the bow because it's so dinky and small and cute i think it would work there i don't want to go i don't know if i want to go through the plastic i'm gonna go through this bow cute okay put that there so cute that might be enough oh wait yep i think if i can make this work i'm gonna be really proud of myself <laughs> i have okay i can't i don't think i can too tight there. Can she go there though? No, okay, I'm not gonna overdo it. Two is enough. So I kind of swap them out at a later date. So I have this really cute one on here. Wait, wait. Yeah, here. So cute. And then the good vibes one at the front. And then that one on the front there. So cute. I love it. That's it. I'm stepping. I hope that's been helpful, I hope it's been useful. Um, I have some Plan With Me videos coming out as well this weekend, probably tomorrow. I'm a week behind, slap twist. And I will get up to date as, as soon as possible and I will see you all soon. I've just been obsessed with watching other people's videos recently that I've just not been um, creating content so naughty. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and film loads of videos today, but hopefully that was useful, I hope you loved it. Let me know if you've used any of these pens before and loved them. Let me know if there's any highlighters that are true pastel and are brilliant and I need to add to this collection. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy and healthy week, everyone. Lots of love. Bye.